Greetings YouTube, it's still Sunday night and basically this thing turned out very well. Very well indeed. What I need to do now is I need to cut these tabs level with the side of the frame and then the plan is I'm going to cut a couple of inches of this and it's going to have a bolt welded on the inside like this and then it will be welded on so it fits over the side of the frame and then the bolt can be tightened up on, from the outside. So that's the plan. So I've got to get a sharpie, mark these in the right place, cut them off nice and level, and then weld the bit on top with the these nuts. Sweet. They're a lovely tight fit, the holes. It's looking good. It's looking very good. That one was really good, I'm definitely getting better. And that was with my eyes closed because I couldn't see bugger all, so. Yeah, sweet, let's uh, tidy them up a touch. Beast. It might go a bit flickery for a minute, but then it should be better. That's better for me anyway, and I'm the boss. Where's the bolt? Right, got it. So, pretty sure it needs to go this way up. It's all new to me as well. I'm just trying to get straight in my head what I'm doing. Let's just try it. Right, now we need to get the bed of the frame. It doesn't matter how high up or down the turbine we put it. Let me just get something to wedge. I'll wait on there for now. Neither thought you can see how nice it's looking. It's looking good. So these are what I've just made. And again, the bolts on the inside. The idea is that it's gonna bolt onto that. Yeah, there you can see how, it goes, how it's gonna go together. Sweet. That's the plan times two on either side. And then to tighten it up, we just put a bolt in. And we definitely want to weld it in situ. Well, I'm just going to try putting a tack on there and see what it feels like. I've got to try and get the lights out for welding because I'm finding I'm having to use my phone. Yeah, that light's good. Just need to clean this up a little bit more. That's those two things on there successfully. Uh, yeah, now I'm gonna undo everything and then give them some proper weld uh, in a better, easier position, if that makes sense. Sweet. Greetings YouTube, and this is progress, I think. I just want to show you the hinge and tell you what's good about it and what isn't, what needs changing. The design of the interior bit, which is this plate welded onto these two, is perfect. Absolutely no problem at all. Lined up pretty well, super strong, no problem there at all. This is a problem, uh, which you can see uh, planning on using these bolts to tighten up the uh, bracket, this thing, to the rest of that. I uh, just need to say at this moment in time, this obviously will have supports here. 
which will hold it up at the right angle. It's not just going to be relying on that bolt to hold it up. So that's going to be the angle it'll fly at. I've got the motor in the front. I'm planning to try and install the bearings directly onto the top of the motor casing either side. And then that gives us uh, more room. I kind of regret making it shorter because it was about a foot longer and it may have been best keeping it like that. But I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, and the function of the hinge will be great. And uh, let me just put the camera on the tripod so I can show you something. One second. So yeah, the idea with this frame thing is that this can slide up and down. Hang on, let me get the other stand up. So the plan is if you wanted to have two motors in the back, then it can be moved back even further. If we wanted, then obviously let me just tighten that up. I need to get onto these in a minute because this is the part I need to change. So obviously when I let go, due to the obvious weight difference, it will do that, which is perfectly understandable. But <clears throat> when we have the hinge device on here, then we'll be able to adjust it up and down. With regards to a wind safe type thing, that may be fairly easy. I'm not dwelling on it too much at this exact moment in time, but when you look at the design of the frame, that could be quite easily done. You'd basically have to have uh, something here, something here, then that would have a spring connected to here, which would allow a certain amount of movement. But then it would have to have something to top it off, like a little bracket, so it can only go so high. Uh, so that is an option. <coughs> that is definitely an option. I'm just looking for my other clamp there. I'm just going to clamp this on. And that, you'll notice, there's definitely enough room for two motors here, which I find very interesting. Uh, we'll get onto that in a later video because that is actually pretty running two motors is kind of complicated because you've almost automatically got two loads in it if i could think of a way of actually physically disengaging the motor the gear cog on the electric motor from the chain then but yeah we'll get onto that in another video because that's quite long at time but yeah i just wanted to show you that i think it looks pretty cool and oh yeah let's get onto the firstly I, I need to make the brackets for the motor so the motor doesn't fall out uh that's i've already thought about that's that's not a big problem the other thing, what I need to change is, like I said, the inside, that is perfect. This, I need to extend the length of this, and I need to make it out of really super solid stuff. So instead of being one inch wide, it'll look like a T. Uh, this, bit, this bit on the back here, and then it'll come along. And that makes it both steadier and more accurate. Uh, from Because you can see it's pointing slightly to the right at the moment, but that's fine, because that, that's the whole point of having the bolts. And yeah, so that is some uh, progress, really. And got a bit of weird lighting going on here, but I bought it, bought it inside. So yeah, anyway, I'll catch up with you soon. That's Easter Monday. Sweet!